Hello, it's Ted here. I just wanted to evaluate a couple of sleeping bags that I've purchased recently and taken a look at. Uh, what we have here is the Nemo Riff 15 degree down bag. We have the Marmot Helium 15 degree rated bag and the Marmot Lithium zero degree bag. Mainly I'm looking at the 15 degree bags as my, as my regular bags for uh, some of the colder weather and then the zero degrees for my mountaineering bag, uh, climbing Shasta and such. Um, all have great features. All are 800 fill down. The helium we've heard is rated at actually 900 fill, but they downgraded to 800 fill. Uh, impressive numbers overall though. The comfort rating is at 9 degrees, the limit's negative 5, they classify this as a 0 degree bag, it is supremely warm. The Helium, which is rated as a 15 degree bag, actually has a comfort rating down to 22, limit of 10.4. Um, and then the Nemo Riff, over here is a comfort rating of 28 degrees, limit of 16. Um, so, not quite down to the level of the Marmot Helium and I think one of the things you can notice here is I've given them plenty of time to fluff up and you can see visibly that the uh, the Marmot Helium 15 degree bag is definitely has a bit more fill or fluff than the Nemo Rift. A couple features of the Rift though which are kind of innovative is this section down at the bottom this is all waterproof, so if your feet are touching the walls of the tent and there's condensation and such, it should stay nice and dry. In contrast though, if you look at the foot bags themselves, uh, you'll notice that the, the Nemo is just kind of a regular bag type, uh, where the Marmots actually have extra material here to kind of fluff up and give your feet some extra motion, as well as having some extra down there which is something that I like because my feet tend to get a little bit cold at night. If I'm out mountaineering, I'll wear down booties as well just to make sure my feet don't get cold because that'll wake me up at night. Another feature of the Nemo Riff is it's got what they've called these thermo gills, which this one's opened up here, so they say that you can vent some air out. This one's closed up. Um, kind of a neat feature, a little gimmicky. Don't know where it arcs really gonna help or not I think if you're actually warm you're just gonna kind of open up the sleeping bag a bit and uh, let some heat escape but interesting nonetheless um, zippers can add a little bit of weight and such and speaking of weight these are all pretty respectable lightweight bags the Nemo Riff is weighted at two pounds nine ounces these are all the tall versions and uh, the helium 15 degree bag is rated at two pounds 4.5 ounces so a little bit less and then remarkably this marmot lithium is weighted at two pounds 13.5 ounces which is pretty incredible um, considering it's a zero degree bag and it's supremely warm another feature here on the nemo is it has a extra draft baffle in the front so you can kind of tuck this in underneath right around your neck to keep you warm or you can flip it on the outside if you don't need to uh, the one is more just a traditional bag it doesn't have the baffle but it is also very warm it looks like it actually has a kind of a bigger head area to tuck your head in from a mummy perspective um, the Nemo is a little bit wider um, it has what they kind of call this spoon shape you can see it's a little bit wider in the shoulders and a little bit wider down here in the hips to try to give you more space for turning around um, which is nice I do I am a side sleeper so uh, that extra width I'm sure also adds a little bit of weight to it but um, overall I really like the construction and the ratings of the helium, the marmot, 
uh, just based on how the down fluffs up a little bit more and the ratings a little bit lower um, not to knock Nemo at all I mean I really like Nemo a lot of their equipment that they put out we've got a couple of their tents as well as their sleeping pads um, but it is a great great sleeping bag great design um, I think overall I will probably choose the Marmot Helium for the 15 degree bag I'm definitely keeping the zero degree bag for my ventures up into the snow so thanks for watching hopefully this helps with any of your decision making and hope to see you on the trails